Was Hannon, was Hannon, was Hannon. I'm Chime Time and welcome back to another episode of the Chimeversation Room. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, like, share, follow, subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Now, if you're on YouTube watching this video, if you came across me looking for someone new, subscribe. Please. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I have here. We have Wingstop Motherfucking Wednesday. Wingstop Wednesday. Wingstop Wednesday. Wingstop Wednesday. So. We have the boneless over him, okay? We got the cone, we got the fries, we got the wings, and we got the freaking celery sticks and the carrots. Now, wing stop. Of course, they done messed up my order once again. I asked for all drums, drums that gave me uh, wings and drums. So, uh, I mean, flats and drums. So, I, <clears throat> I'm about done with them, but we'll talk about them later. Anyway, today's question is, what do I think about interracial dating? <laughs> Before I get into that, I do want to say I'm not a relationship coach nor a relationship expert. I'm just a guy with an opinion, okay? You hit me up if you want an opinion from me and my 11 followers. By the way, I lost a follower last night. Not sure why, but yeah, that was just kind of weird. But send me an email. If you want me to do a video of your question, send me an email to chime time 17 at gmail.com. Again, that's chime time 17 gmail.com. You have the option to remain anonymous. You do. Which means that I will not attach your name to the video. So hit me up if you want to. Anyway, let's talk about this interracial dating. What I think about interracial dating. I do want to make this clear. I am a huge advocate for interracial dating. The swirl game. I love y'all swirlies, man. I love my swirlies. As, as a matter of fact, I condone interracial dating. Because anytime, it takes a special person to date outside their race. Because you're going to be talked about. You're going to be looked at differently. You might even get ran up on. So, they supposed to type person to do that. And for a person that wants it, man, it, it just says a lot. You mean to tell me, you willing to put your life in danger to date me? I'm with that. That to me is is... is very stimulating, because it is actually putting your life in danger. But, let me just be real for a second. I want to be as real as I can with y'all for a second. Mmm, it's all good. Can we agree that it be people that ain't got a damn thing to do with the relationship that be complaining? Like your family? Mm, can we agree with that? I mean... It be got dog um, mm, grandma with the with the saggy titties and no teeth that be talking. Mmm. Like, come on, let me live my life. Golly. Um It be grandma, man. I ain't gonna lie. It be grandma with them saggy titties. They be talking to mo <laughs> And you know <laughs> And You know she hasn't been around a while cause I mean you know she hasn't been around for a while cause of titty sagging. And that's an indication that she's been around for a while. And you have to give her the utmost respect. But God dog on grandma. I don't know people right now, man. Right as we speak right now, are are hiding their relationships, their interracial relationships, because of grandma. <laughs> Our grandma not having. And I have a question right now. You mean tell me you hiding it from grandma? Uh, yeah. Is it titty sagging? Yeah. Let her roll. <laughs> Let it go. Because <laughs> she hasn't been around for a while now. I mean, gotta give somebody the other rules respect. I haven't been around for that long. But, it's really sad that interracial dating is not accepted. Wow. Uh, the further south you go, I'm in North Carolina. The further south you go, in my opinion, I feel you see it the most. I'm not just talking about black folks, white girl. I'm talking 
talking about all races, man. Everything. The only difference, the only problem that I've come across, or that people, well, I'm sure that some people have, some people have and will come across, is them cultural differences, man. Like, I was dating a girl one time. It's been a while ago. And she, in her culture, it's okay to have multiple girlfriends. It's okay to have multiple wives. And I'm like, what? What the? What the hell? What do you mean? What are you talking about? I'm not. Is this a trap or something? Like, <laughs> let me get this straight. Hold on. You mean to tell me that it's okay for me to go out here? I have three, four wives? Yeah, I gotta accept it. I mean, I'm not knocking nobody's culture, but that was just not gonna fly with me. Polygamy? Nope. Not even. I'm like, man, and I could tell that, that obviously that was her culture, but I could also tell, I mean, like, I also tell that she wasn't really feeling that either. It was just what she was brought up in. And I'm just not with that. Jesus Christ. Like, how? Man. Um, most guys, the dream comes true. You know? You can put your meat anywhere you want and get it serviced, you know? But God, oh, I'm just not feeling that. Sorry, y'all didn't get my grape soda. But anyway, where was I? Uh, I think I, I guess I'll talk about polygamy, but yeah. At, at home, yeah. I'm just not okay with it. So we kind of split on those terms. She didn't believe in holiday. She didn't believe in holidays at all. I'm like, man, wait a minute. You mean tell me on Christmas we can't celebrate? Nope. I said, yeah, it ain't gonna work. And I'm real with you. I'm not, I'm not knocking it. How you brought up is how you was brought up, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But it just won't for me. Mm-hmm. Another thing that I see a lot, man. If you interracially date, cool. Do your thing. But don't use that as a means to down your own race. God, dog, man. I met this one white chick a while ago. She said she didn't date white men because white men are stupid. I said, man, I said, uh, man, wait a minute, hold on. Wait. Pause. I said, you don't date white men because white men are stupid. Okay. Um, I, I think you're stupid for saying that. You want to know why? And she asked me why. Because you're white. You dummy. Like, see, that's that dummyism I be talking about. I'm stupid. Just, I mean, you mean to tell me all white men are stupid? Get the, get the hell out of here with that, man. What? Well, <laughs> that, I mean, I don't know what to say. Now, some things about races are true. However, to say that mm, white men are stupid, black women are stupid, or whatever the case is, that's 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 that's, that's stupid. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a little corn right here. Hmm. But yeah, shout out to everybody, man, that's dated interracially, man. Big ups to y'all, man. Keep doing the damn thing. Love isn't based off of color. 
But I will say this, man, to kind of close out this little argument or the debate or whatever it is. I want to be clear when I say this, too. If you do not date outside your race, if you are against dating outside your race, for example, if you say, hey, I don't date black people, or hey, I don't date white people, I do want to let you know this. Your funky ass is racist, bruh. Uh -huh. uh, I don't care what anybody has to say about it. So people are swerving down. Yeah, just because they, they don't date outside their race. They're not racist. But the funny thing is, is that if you sit back and think about it, What is the reason why you won't date them? Because they're black. Because they're white. Because of the color of their skin. That would make you racist. That's no different. You got me running a business and me not hiring you because you white. There ain't no difference. You ain't. You just fire racist, man. And If you watch this video, you have to acknowledge that, man. It's the God honest truth. I mean, some people just swear up and down. No, I'm not racist. No, I'm not. I'd be like, yes, you are. Yes, you are. I mean, it's pretty simple. Anytime you don't date anyone, I mean, I'm sorry, anytime you don't date anyone based off of color, on the skin, you are racist. I don't know, man. But anyway, if you feel differently, man, drop comments in the comments below. But in conclusion, to answer your question about uh, universal dating, I love it. Again, I just hate the fact that when people ain't got nothing to do with the relationship, to be the first one that got something to say. You know, on top of that, they be single. <laughs> like, I don't know. Y'all found me somebody. Dude, you single as hell. What? Like, a single person cannot give a person in relationship advice. So shut up. What? Well, you know. Wayne stop, man. This is their third time messing up my order. Now, I know some of y'all gonna be like, well, I mean that's that's you know, that's kinda on you. No, it's not. It's not, and I'm gonna tell you why. If I pay for something. I shouldn't have to check my damn bag before I leave, man. You're charging me for it. But on the receipt. I shouldn't have to check, man. I shouldn't. And this is the third time, man. Piss me off too. So I was confident. Sat there and waited my 30 minutes. Confident my food was gonna be good. And that shit was just the worst. I mean the food was good, but like my order, like whenever I order drums and I get flats, man, it it just does something to me. By the way, if you prefer flats over drums, you toxic as hell. Toxic.
Now you like being toxic. Mm-hmm. Don't argue with me. There ain't no way. Ain't no way. Now, I'm going with flats over um drums. Mm -mm. These little things, too much work. But if you, if, if you prefer that, perfect. Just know that you're toxic. You're a toxic individual. Hmm. Y'all, this lady walked in Wingstop today. <laughs> Yo, lady walked in the Wingstop and she said, I know this is Wingstop, but where is Thigh Stop? And we all were just like, Excuse me? And she was saying, she was like, I mean, I know. This is wing stop. Can you point me to the direction with thigh stop? Where's thigh stop? Whoa. And when we told her what, what it was, it was like a big shock. Like, you mean to tell me there's not a thigh stop? It's just wing stop? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. That's exactly what we're saying. <laughs> My God, dog. People crazy, man. Woo! Y'all, I'm full already. By the way, man, you know, like, I do want to say this. I don't want to kind of go back to what I was talking about. Don't think I'm talking about y'all's grandma, okay? I'm really not. But, uh, I'm sure 90% of grannies, titties are probably second to some extent. But don't think I'm talking about y'all's grandma. Don't go back and be checking your grandma's boobs and being like, well, this guy on YouTube, this lame guy on YouTube, talking about my grandma's saggy boobs and interracial dating. Damn. Yeah, don't say that. Please. Okay. I don't know. Well, y'all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is it, man. That is it. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. Um, I know I said this is in other videos, but bonus ones are definitely better than the bone in. Don't argue. Um, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you were here with me. If you get this far in the video, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, give me a comment, do whatever you want to do. I would love to hear from you. All right. Thanks again for uh, thanks so much. <laughs> thanks so much again for tuning in. I love y'all, man. I holla.